Petty there with Roar. Speaking of Katy Perry, actually, that leads us quite nicely into the competition that we're going to be running today. Jack is an aspiring radio presenter currently studying at Reed Care College. His first encounter with broadcasting came through his cousin, who had a show on in Glasgow's University Subcity Radio at the time. We had this two hour show which was called The Couch Club and um, Jack sort of expressed an interest at some point a few years ago and um, he said, oh can I come and join in? And we brought him in on the first day and he kind of, um, he just kind of took it in his stride. I thought that he's going to be sitting in the corner and grinning and wow, he's just like, yeah. Okay, cool. Because it was him and his mate, and they were just having so much banter between each other, just between the songs, about what was happening in the world. And it, to be honest, it just looked so much fun. And I thought, you know what, if I'm going to have a job, I might as well do something I enjoy, um, and something to just have fun with. Very soon after, you see, he contacted me and he said, could we put together a show that was his show? And he'd made up jingles for the show, and then he would do requests, and he took sort of notes from different people on his Facebook, and then he would read them out and things. And then soon after that, he emailed me to say, I've been making the show myself. Uh, then I found out there was a course at college, um, which was literally HNC Radio, not media, not broadcast, mostly radio, and I thought, that's perfect for me. He's already earned an opportunity to work at Radio Clyde through his course, where he's been developing his skills in a working radio environment and learning from industry professionals. So I've been talking to Kevin Pearson, uh, Mark Martin today as well, uh, just a lot of presenters and a lot of the producers as well, doing the sort of background stuff. His performance skills have already been showcased during his last few years at Trinity High School. Not only was he brilliant in the classroom, but he participated in lots of concerts and shows. I always remember him with his brow creamed hair and uh, playing, I believe it was Vince Fontaine in Greece. At one point somebody suggested, well, you know, why don't we get Jack to play that role because he's a very good singer. And eventually Jack succumbed and said he will take on the role if I couldn't get anyone else. And oh my goodness. What a transformation. Um, he suddenly became from this slightly awkward, polite, nervous teenager into Vince Fontaine um, with his jazz hands and his sparkly suit. And he was absolutely fantastic. He stole the scene from under the noses of all those senior pupils. Jack's performance generated such interest from other pupils in his year that his school was able to stage West Side Story as their next show. We needed a lot of boys to be involved with this and it's in no small part to Jack and his performance in Greece in fourth year that made a lot of his peers think that actually looks great. We had lots of young men wanting to audition for the lead roles in the show and when we went through the audition process uh, Jack was certainly one of the standout candidates. Always been a great singer and that comes from a lot of his background out with school working with the National Youth Choir of Scotland. Jack McCrory was one of the founder members uh, I met him when he was eight years old, primary four. He started out in the young choir, the beginner's choir, um, and worked for 10 years in the choir um, and went through all the different categories that NICOS provides. Always, always gave this enthusiasm. I just loved him to bits. He was such a nice lad all the way through. Here we go back at 102.5 Clyde One, just listening to Teenage Kicks there by the undertones. Everyone who has helped him get this far believes he has got what it takes to go on and be successful in his chosen field. I mean, Jack has grown so much in the, the two and a bit years that I've known him. Um, and he's just going to keep blossoming um, over the next few years. And I really look forward to seeing what you know he ends up doing. I've always seen him as someone who's great with a microphone in his hand. So it doesn't surprise me that he's chosen to go into the broadcast media. I think he likes the technical side as well. So I think um, combined with his musicianship, I think, you know, he's, he's, he's got the best of both worlds, I think. To get yourself in at Radio Clyde is no mean feat. And he's kind of, you know, way ahead of the game. Um, so yeah, that's the dream is to get a show on Radio 2. I'm not sure where. It could be the breakfast, it could be dry time, to be honest, I wouldn't mind, just any time. That's the main, that's the main goal, yeah, place on Radio 2. He's already made impressive strides forward and everyone hopes he continues in the same fashion.